Shit. So many different garbage cans. I'm not sure which one to choose. You probably are there wondering why exactly I'm showing to you all of these different garbage cans. Well, that is the case with most non-fiction books published by publishers in Amazon. These should simply go to a garbage can because they are garbage. And if you want to have great content for your book, then this video is exactly for you because I'm going to explain what is an outline, why should you get one, and more importantly, how you can get a best-selling outline for your writers so they can produce amazing content for your books. So stay there and let's get it rock and rolling. Howdy there boys and girls and ladies and gentlemen. This is going to be a great video because I'm going to share with you several tips so you can have an amazing outline and also get later on great content for your books. So if you still haven't liked, just go right below, click on that thumbs up and also subscribe to my YouTube channel so you can receive my weekly video updates where I share with you plenty of tips related to Kindle publishing and several ways for you to make money online. So let's get the ball rolling. Let's get it started. So what is an outline? Why should you get one? Well, an outline is basically the set of instructions that you provide to your writer or to your team of writers so they know the content that you want in your book. And why is this so important? Well, this is something that I've noticed that a lot of uh, publishers really don't pay much attention. They kind of get lazy about this. And they think that it's just the only important part about the, the Kindle process is just being able to find really hot topics for their books. And that's not really the case, you know. Uh, it's important, all of the steps are important, especially this one, because if you want to have a book that kind of is unique, it kind of separates itself from all of the other books in the market, then it all starts from you having a great outline. The problem that I see with many, um, many uh, publishers is they get lazy about this process and then they complain about uh, receiving way too generic, way too broad content in their books and once they publish your book they really don't make that many sales because well it's just you know it's just another book in the middle of all others and it really isn't that unique. So it all starts by providing the great great outline and for you to provide a great outline you need to know what your customers want in your specific niche. It is extremely important for you to know and understand their problems, uh, what they like, what they don't like, what is their major concern, and build a, and have a book that is specific and that helps your customers solve their problems. And I'm going to show to you the way that you can do this, but basically the way for you to do this is simply go to your particular keyword where you want to publish your book and check the books belonging to authors and going to the reviews, reading the reviews and basically doing outline based on the reviews left by customers because customers basically leave everything that you need to know in their reviews. So you really don't need to do anything crazy like go to a forum like go to to blogs and so on and get crazy and so on everything is left by customers in the reviews and it's basically the best place for you to go anyway the problem about just not paying much attention to this I really I kind of explained but I want to just be more clear about two things the first part about kind of being lazy not really paying much attention to your outline is that you get way too generic content from your writers because your writers also get lazy they they see that they don't have any kind of clear instructions so they get lazy and what they do is they they kind of take the easy route they go online they start browsing for content and the first content that they find on a blog or somewhere else they simply just write that content and you just get generic content easy to find online the second problem is later on you start getting customers complaining about the content in your book. You get comments or reviews 
of customers saying, well, I, I, I didn't really need to purchase this book. I could have easily find this content online. It already happened to me, and it also happens to other people if you don't provide a correct outline, okay? Okay, so let's talk about how you can have a great outline. I'm going to show to you the process, the thing that I do always, okay? Anyway, if you are wondering, this is the team of writers that I use called the Urban Writers. If you decide to use this team, they, they provide good content for a decent price. And also, if you decide to use them, make sure to use my coupon code J5 so you can get a 5% discount on your books. So I'm going to leave this information on the description from this video anyway let's talk about how you can get a great outline so let's say that you want to write a book about uh, let's see let's go to Kindle store first let's say that you want to write a book about uh, I mean let's say you want to write a paleo book paleo diet book okay let's call it paleo diet book okay so Let's say that you want to write a paleo diet book. So this is uh, this is your keyword. This is your main keyword. So you before you certainly went and analyzed and saw that you found a list of profitable keywords and you decided, well, I want to publish a book about paleo diet. Now what? Now I c how can I have a great outline for my book? So the thing that you do is simply you go to you scroll down and you go to the books belonging to authors and you can easily see this by the number of reviews that books have and you may see that at the moment these books aren't performing that well and there's a good reason for that I mean to all of this situation that is happening all over the world a lot of people aren't really paying attention to diets at the moment but it doesn't mean that later on they won't and also the paleo diet is not something that people I mean it's I wouldn't say it already had this diet faded away but it's not so popular as it once used to be so you can easily see that you have a couple of books with a lot of reviews like this one and uh, yeah this one and you know this one and so on so what you want to do is simply go and you click over here and you open this in new tab so you can go to the review section belonging to this book and I'm going to open a notepad for this a black notepad and now what you do is you go from uh, from two stars to five stars and you read several of these comments and see the content that people are looking for you see you want to kind of reply what is your major problem what is the things that they enjoy about this book that in this case this book over here okay uh, and also you want to kind of get uh, an idea about all of this so you can provide a book where you kind of solve those problems and uh, provide even better content than this author so this is what you want to do I typically don't go to the one star I mean you can go to the one star but I mean, people who leave one star in a book like this, it's typically just people that just like to say bad about everything. So I don't pay much attention to these reviews, but of course if you want, you can also check these reviews. But I'm going immediately to the two star. So this, as you can see, some comments are really stupid, I mean... So this person complains that way too much to read oh come on man if it's too little then it's too little don't waste <laughs> this person doesn't even know how to write waste he writes waste your money your money don't waste your money so i mean you, you shouldn't pay attention to every single review because some reviews are pretty stupid from people who barely even know to write english and probably they barely even know how to read English so you shouldn't pay much attention to them but let's see over here author keeps going over the same points over and over very annoying sample meal plans for a second third page are on my Kindle okay so this book seems to have some kind of formatting problems especially for Kindle probably the author didn't format their book that well so 
what happens is some people open this uh, this book on their Kindle device and they get some awkward fermentation fermentation for their books. So you also need to be cautious about that. But it's not something that you need to provide to your writers. It's not that important. So you just keep reading and you try to find some some reviews like this one because this seems to have some some pretty useful content on contrast to the other ones above such as although well intentioned this book really missed the mark after reading several paleo and low carb books i thought i would read this since so many authors use current in their references okay so as I can understand from this comment, that said, I would not recommend this book to anyone that had more than a sixth grade education. So what it seems to to be the problem about this this customer is that the content is way too simple. Okay, so I would have thought a PhD would provide a little more substance for their positions and theories to help critical. Okay, so. It seems like customers want. So this is a paleo diet book, okay? Paleo diet. Paleo diet. So readers or customers want more technical knowledge, including probably uh, references or. Probably some more scientific evidence about why the paleo diet is, is that good and so on. So I'm going to write customers are looking for scientific knowledge about why this diet is effective. So as I remember, the paleo diet used to be uh, is related to the Paleolithic or Paleolithic ancestors so probably they want to have content where you have evidence of for Paleolithical ancestors kind of having a similar diet and back then they were healthy and so on and they were thin and they were agile and athletic and so on so probably people want to have more uh, scientific evidence of that instead of something so simple like oh this diet is, is great because of this and that so let's read the rest this book was really dummy down so it's basically the same thing okay so this this customer is still complaining about the same thing okay so from this comment it's basically this so this customer uh, wants or some customers want more scientific information about the paleo diet. Okay, let's over here, not much. Let's check uh, another. I was put off introduction. Let's check this one over here because it seems to have more content. I was put off by the introduction which the demonized fat low carbs diet highlighted the worst aspects or in an effort to set poly diet apart. I felt like they targeted that. So I think this uh, this customer is complaining about the fact that the, um, the author is is kind of saying bad about the the fat of low carb diets and, and so on. So yeah, this is what you want to do. I, I would need to spend some time just reading and kind of grabbing pieces and bits to see what customers didn't like about this book and what they like. So this is what you want to do. I'm not going to waste way too much time. I'm just giving you an idea of what you need to do. So typically what I do I, is I simply go to the reviews that seem to have a bit more content and like this, 
I think this is like the third time where someone is just saying that the content is way too repetitive. So that is also something that you would like to avoid in your book. So yeah, you go from the negative reviews. This will give you a good idea. So the negative reviews, this is not exactly the, okay, this would be the outline, but I'm just going to put over. The negative reviews gives you a good idea about what you don't want in your book okay while the positive ones the positive reviews from three stars above will give you an idea of what is necessary for you to have inside of your book so this is what i do as i can see once again i mean customers really spend a lot of time reviewing books and providing a lot of information and if you spend like Okay, you have a couple of great keywords and you spend like a whole afternoon just going from this author bo books and checking the reviews, you will get a great outline so you can have a unique book that will sell pretty well in Amazon later on. As you can see, a lot of content over here, a lot of content. Okay, so what you want to do then, you will go to the three stars, okay, you read this and you just put line by line line by line things that you find people living in in the the reviews then you go to the four stars you do the same thing check these reviews and in this case you will get more positive reviews as you can see in watch my sister endure the merry-go-round of vatican's i think per then Pallidae makes a lot more sense this proposal of fresh natural food so so this is something that is important for you to have Fresh natural food, omitting grains, sugar salt makes much more sense than consuming. So this is basically this person explains a bit about what is the paleo diet, what it consists on. So this is something that you would essentially need to add into your book. With I would have to agree that the pre-cultivation diet was likely more healthy than the cereal-based diet. Then. Okay, so you could provide like um a difference between the the pre-cultivation diet which was the the I guess the hunting and gathering that we our ancestors used to, to do they were men would go out and they would ha hunt um, would hunt uh, animals for their tribe so they could eat and survive and so on and also gather s stuff that they would found on the floor of the wherever they lived <laughs> I'm not sure but I'm kind of inventing over here so you probably would need to have a line where uh, you explain explanation between why the pre-cultivation compared to the cereal based diet that began 10,000 years ago. So this is, seems a very interesting line and I guess people who are getting started in the pilot diet will want to know this. They want to see the benefits and why once we started changing our diet to a more cereal-based cereal diet, why people weren't so healthy and so on. So, so as you can see, you can get a lot of information over here. So this is the more positive information compared to the the two stars and then you get to the five stars and you kind of you can see I mean there's so much information that's that's the reason why I really don't waste my time just going anywhere else besides to the reviews belonging to particular books and you get all of this information of course I'm not going to read this but I'm pretty sure that this person offers some pretty good advice about the content that is needed inside of your book so yeah can see this so what you want to do is you get to this book okay this is the first book then you go and you also scroll down you go to another book from an author and you rinse and repeat the same process over and over again actually over here I did a mistake but what I want to do is just click over here and go to this section for some reason and you go to the review section over here and you rinse and repeat the same process you can do this for two and three books and by the end you will have a great outline of course this is a bit time consuming it may take a few hours now the other thing that I also like to do the second part is 
once I read the reviews, I also like to go over here to the book preview inside of Kindle so I can get a good idea of how the table of content looks like. And this gives me basically, as you can see, all of the basic information that your, pro your book will probably need. Now, the thing that you want to kind of do so you can have a unique book is not provide exactly the same content as the authors in this niche. You kind of want to see if there is a way for you to be more specific in your book. See that you want to read the reviews, see what are the problems that uh, customers are having, and you want to provide a book that will kind of s help them solve those problems and be more specific. You don't want to have a book that is way too broad. You want to have a book that is more specific and helps your customers solve a particular problem that they have in their niche. Of course, this kind of depends on the, the keyword that you selected and so on. So I'm pretty sure that, or also if you aren't able to find a, a specific twist for your book to provide more specific content, the other thing that you can do is provide a book that has even better content compared to the author's publishing books inside of this niche. And you can do that by checking their negative reviews, seeing what people found felt that lacked inside of this books, and you can provide a book with even better content. So you do this just by checking the reviews left by people. And the other part is simply going to the book preview and just checking over here so you can get a better idea. Sometimes I even like to leave a few examples on my outline. Uh, just examples. And I put over here the, um, the URL for this book. And I tell, I tell my writers just check this book so they can get a better idea of the type of content that I want for my book. Okay. So this is something that you can do. I, I tell my, sometimes I tell my, my writers to check the preview of this book to get a good idea of the content I want. Okay, so, so this is what I do. And uh, yeah, I just go through the reviews and so on. And then once I have all of this done, this may take a couple of hours. It's, it's kind of time consuming, but it's better for you to waste a few hours just researching what people want rather than having just a, a poor content book and so on. So, because if you get this right, then you will be selling your book for months and months to come and you will do a lot of money. So that's the reason. So then you just go to, urban writers and you just go to writing packages and you can choose over here on the packages between this one or this one the first one or the urban package which is the ones that I commonly use and you go to buy now then you can select between uh, I'm not going to go more much in depth with this but uh, about the length of your book I actually have a great video about this I'm going to leave uh, this video just click on the small i i think on the left side so you may check about uh, what is the the perfect length for your books and so on so in this case let's call this uh, paleo diet uh title i'm not sure i would need to check oh, <laughs> best uh, tips for the paleo diet now um paleo how to lose um, 10 pounds in 15 days with the poly diet. Okay, I would need to check for a better title, but you get the idea. So I'm going to call this Mark Twit. And then what you want to do is you can just copy and uh, paste the outline over here. Okay, just do this. And you should have an outline with about. I typically like to put like uh, what I want in my book and what I don't want in my book. There are a few things that I don't want to have in my book, okay? What I don't want in my book. And I suggest for you to do this. If it's your first book, then it's not a big issue, but if it's your second book, then I, I tell them 
I don't want you to have a copyright page. Okay. Because the thing is I simply copy and paste this from another from another book to this one and this way they don't use the word count for this book for a copyright page which is uh, don't start Sometimes something that I notice is sometimes with writers uh, they just try to do their best to fill the word count and they add this really uh, boring ass generic crappy lines in your in the beginning in the introduction of your book saying like thank you for downloading this book blah 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 and, and shit like that which is it's pretty useful useless and it makes your books seem like crap so this is something that I also tell them to avoid adding in my book and um, avoid um, it's basically this okay this is our, there are typically the two lines that I had and this is what I want in my book so this will be the lines the oh I want my book about this this and that and so on at like 15 to 20 lines and this is the last over here is pretty much the generic thing that I always had in my books okay so yeah, this is what I do. I had to cart, and then you go over here to check out and uh, check out, and you just had your coupon code J5, just like this. Yeah, that is pretty much how you can get a great outline for your Kindle publishing book. That is all for this video. If you have any question related to this video just leave it on the comment section right below also make sure to like and subscribe to my youtube channel okay that is all for now stay tuned with jordan alexo and bye